All right, so I just got a fresh cut from a new place and I wanted something more like I had over the summer. We'll have to see how this works out. I don't dislike the cut. Um, they went up higher in here than I wanted to. And if they were gonna do that, I would have had a, you know, more of a fade going here. So this seemed to grow out a little bit. So to grow out a bit, a little bit in the back, but I think it is serviceable. It's definitely more serviceable than the botch job that I had over the summer that ruined everything. But feels good to have the sides down a bit now. Um, I wanna say that there's some sort of Billy Jealousy bullshit in my hair right now um, that is very crispy. Yeah, I can feel like that pull and that, yeah, I, I hate it. I'm gonna go wash this out immediately um, and I'll restyle and see where I'm at, but yeah, finally got a cut. Anyways, I said it right off the bat. Wow. Okay. Fresh cut hair, just rinsed whenever the hell I got put in there out. Let me see what I'm going to throw in. Um, didn't think this far ahead. This is just a bunch of dead air. Watch something schlicker. Okay, we're gonna just use this today. Come on, focus, there we go. Oh, almost had it. Graham grease, cream pomade. This is my tradition for like a post fresh cut cheese product. Um, anyways, so new barber for personal reasons. Actually left a very skilled barber that really knew my hair well, which is a difficult decision, but I'm gonna go into it right now and that's all right. Went to a new place today. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. You know, I haven't been to a different barber shop, let alone a different barber in a while. I mean, I've, I've seen my backup barber at the shop I was at, but it's not, you know, it's still the same barber shop, still the same, you know, methodology and everything, how they do things from the most part. So it was, it was very different, vastly different. I'm not used to my haircuts only taking like 20 minutes, especially with what I just paid for it, but I didn't want them to take too much off the top. I wanted more hair left on this side apart like my hair was over the summer before it got botched. So, just a second you can see where we're at. Get it all schlicked back here. But anyways, so you know, sit down and I don't know, like, you sound like an elitist prick when you start talking about how superior your homebrew products are to, you know, the Kevin Murphy's and the, you know, the salon products. So I didn't talk about those. I just kept my mouth shut. And then they asked about what products I was using. And so I was like, oh, I mostly use homebrew products. And they were like, about it. They don't trust people who don't work with hair for a living. And I was like, so I name dropped like Shiro Lab. I'm like, oh, there's this company out of New Jersey where the owner, um, let's get the for this, figure out what the hell's going on over here, uh, actually is a barber, and that's how they started. And so they're using their professional knowledge and they were just kind of like, never. Okay. So I know they're trying to upsell. It's, they make money off of selling the products and everything, but they're also like, oh, your hair's really dry. And I'm like, well, I blow dried it so you can see what things look like and everything. But anyways, there it is again, second time. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back, maybe I won't, but we'll see how this looks when it dries. This product needs some settling time and I'll give it that. And we'll see what's checking in a bit. Okay. So this is how we're doing. Um, the waves are really coming out, but that's because I definitely overcombed this product due to being sensitive and my hair is in a bit of shock because I washed it and blow dried it and then I went in and then 
it got washed and blow dried again and then I came home and rinsed it so anyways is it what I wanted no is it okay yeah will I go back to that shop probably not and it's not because of the cut really I just didn't you know kind of felt like being handled which I could go anywhere and do that so I guess uh, it's gonna be a saga peeps of when I find a barber shop so um, I promised my wife I wouldn't get my hair cut again until next year <laughs> dad jokes they're fun and I'm going to uh, let it grow out a little bit and see where it goes from there it might do what I wanted to do just from growing out but probably won't go back to that shop so I uh, hope everyone has a great Christmas, and take care. And don't forget, uh, I'm at like 37 or 38 subscribers now. When I get to 50, I'm going to do my giveaway for the Aura deodorant and a Shea Revival product if you're choosing.